So, if I have to tell you there are uh, many infectious diseases like for example, there is uh, typhoid fever, there is uh, human influenza, influenza or flu, then we have got swine flu, we have got malaria, we got dengue, we got COVID-19 like that there are so many infectious diseases that we know and each disease can be diagnosed by three methods or rather three ways. One is what is called as the clinical, clinical in the sense we have to uh, see the symptoms or the symptomatology and then the, pa the patient is examined by the doctor that is called as science, we observe certain signs. For example, hepatitis B virus, uh, let us say somebody has got a fever and jaundice, the doctor examines and sees you know, there is a jaundice there. So that way we can, there are certain features for every disease, these are called as clinical features. In these clinical features, there are what the patient actually complains. For example, somebody says, I have got running nose, I have got sore throat, I have got cough, I have got fever. That is what the patient says. And then the doctor examines and sees and then he, can, he may see that uh, there is congestion of the eyes, the redness of the eyes, redness of the tongue, redness of the throat. All these things are what the doctor sees. So these are called the signs. There are symptoms, what the patient complains and there are signs, what the doctor sees. Now this is called as the clinical diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis, every every uh, disease has a particular, uh, let us say it has got uh, certain features, clinical features. So COVID-19 has some special features, swine flu has some other special features. Based on these clinical features, we, we differentiate clinically, this is clinically, in the sense before we do any further tests. So the first uh, and foremost thing is clinical diagnosis. Clinical diagnosis, as I told you, the patient's complaints or the symptoms and the signs which are seen by the doctor. These two things put together, we make a calculation in our mind, okay, this, this, this is there. So X plus Y plus Z is this, A plus B plus C is this. So we know that uh, for sure that these are the features each disease will have. So COVID-19 has a very special features as compared to the swine flu or other seasonal flus. Most of the flus have a sore throat, and then uh, they have mostly running nose. Whereas COVID-19 disease has more of uh, dry cough and uh, less of running nose and they have fever also. Fever is not very high. In flus, the fever is very high. In the, in the beginning itself, the flu fever is higher compared to the COVID-19 fever. But as the time goes on, the COVID-19 fever also will go up. So initial stages, the fever is less, low grade fever, and then it becomes high grade. Whereas in the uh, in other flus like swine flu and all that, the initial stage itself the fever is quite high. And um, one more uh, important thing is that the breathlessness in uh, swine flu or uh, uh, in the seasonal flus, usually the breathlessness is not the first symptom. In fact, they can become breathless quite late in the uh, you know evolution of the disease. Whereas in uh, COVID-19, in the beginning itself, people are breathless. In fact, uh, breathlessness is one of the very common symptoms of uh, COVID-19. You know, the patient complains that he is having difficulty in breathing and uh, that's how we can conclude that it could be COVID-19. Now, this is the first step. First step is clinical diagnosis. Next step is laboratory diagnosis. Laboratory diagnosis means we do certain tests initially to rule out some common problems. Like for example, if there is a fever and cough, it could be a simple bacterial, bacterial uh, pharyngitis or dry cough. So we may do what is called as the blood tests where we do the complete blood picture, where we can see the WBC count, how the WBC count is there, as white blood cell count. The white blood cells, we have got uh, three major different uh, white blood cells, the neutrophils, uh, the monocyte macrophages and the uh, basophils. Somebody who is having allergic rhinitis, allergic uh, fever and such people will have more of this basophils, especially asthmatics. Uh, we, we can estimate on the uh, blood picture. So, uh, when the when the bacterial infections are there, neutrophils are high. The third uh, cell is the lymphocyte. The lymphocyte cells are more in uh, in cases of uh, viral fevers. Initially, lymphocytes will be more, and then they fall. The lymphocyte count will fall. Whereas uh, bacterial infections, we have the WBC count is more. I'm just giving an example how we differentiate uh, different kinds of infections by doing a simple blood test or the complete blood picture. Then we come to the third level, that is the specific tests. Once we do the general tests of blood and we find out that there is suppose neutrophils are more, we mean we mean to say that it is a bacterial infection. If the lymphocytes are more, initial stages lymphocytes are more, we assume that it is it is a viral infection. And uh, even the sometimes in viral infections, platelets also will fall. Like dengue is a very uh, famous example 
where a dengue is a viral infection and the platelets will fall. So based on this we come to some conclusion then we send for specific tests. The specific tests for example in COVID-19 we do a nasal swab and send it for uh, the PCR test that is called the polymerized chain reaction, polymerized chain reaction. You have a small viral particle, it will be enhanced multiple times in the laboratory, it will be any small genetic material of the virus can be enhanced in the sense it can be made to multiply uh, within the that is called as a chain reaction. We make it a chain reaction and so that we can accumulate more and more evidence of the availability or, or presence of the particles, the viral particles. So that is called as a PCR test. PCR test is almost 100 percent accurate if it comes positive. But if it comes negative still there is a chance that it could be positive which was missed in the first test. That is why we in insist on a second test after 3 to 4 days or a week. So this is uh, how we come to the final diagnostic uh, thing. But since now there is a pandemic or any in any epidemic what we assume is most likely because it is a pandemic and a uh, lot of people are getting infected with this most likely these symptoms uh, could be because of COVID-19 only. That is the reason why we do not go to the second step of doing the general tests. We directly go to the confirmatory test and when the COVID-19 comes negative then we think of other, other problems because it is a pandemic and here there is a higher chance of getting this illness than the other illnesses. And that is the reason why we do not do the second level of tests that is uh, at least initially we do not do the complete blood picture and all that we directly go for the swab test and identify whether there is a virus or not. So differentiating uh, COVID-19 from uh, the routine flus is quite simple that is in the early stages. But once uh, the stages go to the next level, next level and they go to the uh, more serious conditions it is very difficult to differentiate between the two. Initial stages if you get uh, cough, uh, dry cough, breathlessness and fever it goes more in favor of COVID-19. Running nose, fever, plus or minus cough without breathlessness goes to uh, other flus. This is a, uh, a very common uh, differentiating feature in uh, our clinical examination. Once the clinical features are over, they said that is the first level. The second level we, we mean we can skip in this case because we do not want to waste time in uh, diagnosing because we all know that uh, the virus is moving around everywhere in the population. So, with these symptoms most likely it is that. So, first we rule that out and, is, and we do not have a cure for that. So, we have to identify the problem at the earliest to treat the patient to get a better result. And that is the reason why we do not want to waste time in that doing all the general tests. But in any, any other disease we do all the general tests first then come to your conclusion this could be this, 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 this. Then based on that we go to the final confirmatory test. Here we are directly going to the confirmatory test either positive or negative we rule out what is called as thadopedo tail chest thumb. So that we do not want to have any more doubt in our mind whether we are dealing with this or that. Mm -hmm.